welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing, which is going to be the Joy Crate, which is one of my all-time favorite subscription boxes. This one is for the month of December, which is what we are in. So if you don't know, Lit Joy is a monthly subscription box where you get a um, exclusive book and several different goodies to go along with the book. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. So I did already cut it open. So this is what it's going to look like on the inside. So the first thing I see here are these really cute, it looks like they're going to be socks. Yep, they're socks and it says, Talk Darcy to me. And they are super cute and fuzzy and soft and they're little stretchy ones so those are really really cute. I do like these a lot. That is the first thing. Next here we have the spoiler card. It's really pretty little art print so we're going to go ahead and put that to the side so we don't spoil ourselves. The thing I see, I really like this. This is really cute. So let me open this one first. So you have this cute little bubble wrap and it's this really pretty plate. It's really, really cute. This little saucer with that little flower on the inside. Super, super cute. And then with that, we have this cute little mug. And on the inside it says, I would rather have nothing but tea by Jane Austen. I don't know if you can see that. My camera doesn't have like the forward facing thing so I can see myself or see what I'm doing. So I have like an old school Nikon where like I can't see anything I'm doing so I'm just talking to the camera without seeing myself. So I don't know if I even have this in view but if so that's a cute little teacup and saucer which I love this. I actually have a collection of um, like a tea set which I have over there and then I have some more in there. But I love, love, love tea sets. And that is super, super cute. So, I love that. That's probably going to be my favorite thing in this box. The trading cards which come every month. I believe this one is the Hunger Games. And there's going to be this one here. Look how pretty the art print is. Super, super pretty. And the next one we have this one. It's really pretty. I love their art print. Like, I really enjoy the art that comes with them every month. So there's that. Next we have Pride and Prejudice Lit Joy Crate exclusive wax seal sticker set. And they say most prudently. And then this one up here has a book and a quill on it. So it's those cute little wax seals that you can put on your letters. This is really cute. So we have this cute little tray and it says Sense and Sensibility, Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey, Persuasion, Emma, and Pride and Prejudice and then it has like the little script all around. Is that not the cutest little tray or what? I think I'm going to use this for maybe to put my jewelry in or I might actually I might put my tea in here like my little packets of tea and then put it in there with my little cup and saucer and then that way I have this cute little trinket so next the book lovers calendar oh that's cute 2020 desk flip calendar so it has the little thing so you can set it up on your desk and, oh, that's cute. Okay. It has, my advice is never do tomorrow what you can do today. Procrastination is the thief of time. Charles, Charles Dickens. And then it has the date and stuff. And each one of them are different. So that is really cute. I do like this a lot. That's really cute. I love this. So, so far I am loving this box. So that's this book, which 
which it comes in this cute little pouch. They do different colors every month. Got that little wormy out. Okay. In here we have the art print, which this one is really, really pretty. It has a bunch of like Victorian type stuff. You got your umbrella and your violin and your clothes and your wine and your little fan, skeleton key. That's really cute. I like that. And then on the back side is the letter from the author. And then let's see what we got going on in here. If I can get it out without tearing it up. So this month we have Dangerous Alliance, an ostentatious romance by Jenniki Cohen. I think that's how you say that name. That's this really pretty book here. And one thing I love about Lip Joy is they do exclusive art print on this jacket. So this is this one. Really pretty. Hope I'm not too close, but it's really pretty. I like that one. Got the cute little horse and the weeping willow tree. I love weeping willow trees. And it's got the girl under the tree with the little sheep. I really like this. Is probably one of my favorite ones. I really like that cover. And let's get that back on there without tearing it up. So they do come signed by the author and then yep then they have that same art print from earlier inside of the book so let's see what this book is about because I know nothing about it let's see for the first time in days Vicki felt sure all would turn out well perhaps her life had become a sensational novel for a few weeks but surely it would end like pride and prejudice and leave her happy and in a position to help her dear family she faced Althea, I'm charged with finding a husband, and I will not shirk my duty. So, let's see. Lady Victoria Ashton, 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 Ashton has everything she could want. An older sister happily wed. The future of her family estate secure and ample opportunity to while to while her time away in the fields around her home. But Vicky's comfortable, idyllic life is overturned in the course of one night. Her sister's husband is a terrible cat, and now Vicky must marry or find herself and her family destitute. Armed only with the wisdom she has gained from her beloved novels by Jane Austen, she enters society's treacherous season. Sadly, Miss Austen has little to say about Vicky's particular circumstances. Whether the gorgeous and roguish Mr. Carmichael is indeed a scoundrel, if her former best friend, the much-grown and very handsome Tom Sherborne, is out for her dowry or for her heart or even how to fend off the attentions of foppish Mr. Selby. He, of the fortunate fashion sensibility, most for unfortunate of all, Vicky's books are silent on the topic of the mysterious accidents cropping up around her. Accidents that could prevent her from sur surviving until her wedding day. So, it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. We're going to give it a go. So, overall, I really like this book. This book. This box. It's probably one of my favorite boxes that they've put out in a long time. They usually do a lot of um, fantasy and sometimes some sci-fi and stuff like that. So it's not often that we get like historical or romance type books. So I'm very excited for that and I love everything. But I would have to say my favorite thing is going to be the cute little teacup and the little saucer words don't make sense to me today. I can't think of nothing. So, anywho, thank you guys for viewing my channel and um, give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. I'd love to chat with you guys and I will talk to you next time.